the beginning of a new year, many of us tend to make New Year's resolutions, right? <laughs> Webster defines a resolution as, and I quote, the act of determining. However, the problem with the resolutions is that they tend to be forgotten within a few days or weeks at the most. In truth, what we really need is a revolution. Webster defines revolution as, and I quote, complete or radical change of any kind. As children of God, we need to experience a radical change in the way we think and act. We should seek to put self out of power and yield ourselves to our Lord and King. We should bring ourselves under the absolute Lordship and leadership of the Lord Jesus Christ. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 14-22, Paul tells in clear terms exactly how the Lord intends for everyone to live their lives. Based on this, these are the New Year revolutions that we all need. First, revolution in worship. Verse 1-18, to we need to have an attitude of prayer always, so that when needs arise throughout the day, we will be constantly ready to call on God's name, whether loudly or silently. We need to be genuinely thankful to God. He has done so much that we could never repay Him. The least we can do is to bow our heads before Him and be thankful for His gracious gifts. Second, revolution in our work. In verse 14 to 15, Paul writes that we need to have three traits active in our lives. We should have compassion towards all men. We should have forgiveness towards everyone and we should have discernment towards everything. When these three are in their place, our work will be right and will be displaying the characteristic of Christ-likeness. Third, revolution in our witness. Verse 22, we are the only Bible that many people will ever see. If we live in wickedness and ungodliness, we will be telling the world that Jesus makes no difference at all in the way we live. Do you sense the need for a revolution in your spiritual life this year? Then respond to the call of God and get in line with Jesus and do His will to the best of your abilities according to His graces. Let's live the truth we claim to believe and be shining lights for the glory of God. Dear Lord, every year I make resolutions only to fail soon. But now I desire revolution in my worship, in my work and in my witness. Help me to put self out of the throne, yield myself totally to your Lordship, and do your will according to your abundant grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.